What is up, Invisible Corporations? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Stortuga, and a welcome back to Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer. If you guys are enjoying the series, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. What are you doing if you haven't subscribed yet, and you're this far in the series, or maybe this is your first video, I don't know. <laughs> but we would really appreciate the subscription. And remember, it's not just me at Invisible Corporations. Remember to check out all the amazing content creators in the description below. So last episode, we uh, we unfortunately had to use our first instance of the spoiler log. And sadly, that is, uh, you know, that is a thing that unfortunately happens, but we can really start going ham with these great fairy fountains because we have Zelda's Lullaby. There's so many checks that we can get now with Zelda's Lullaby. So let's start off with a bang. Boom! It is a bigger bomb bag, which uh, I will take. I'll, be, I'll always be able to carry, to to carry more bomb bag, uh, more bombs and whatnot. But that's why we didn't leave the desert yet. Um, is that I wanted to double check that our next uh, Zelda check, uh, Zelda's lullaby, is going to be Nocturne of Shadow. There's not a great fairy over here, but there is. Um, there is uh, the gravestone uh, legit right there, and we're able to get quite a couple of checks within here, so there we go. Um, we, so we got the bigger bomb bag, which is really cool. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. What I got. But that is okay. Alright, we got the Royals Family Tomb. We're just gonna knock out the keys with the... Um... Long Shot. I think that's everything. Yep. And let's go get our check, uh, which is usually the Sun Song check. So that'll be really cool. And it doesn't take that long to play the Sun Song to get rid of these guys and not have to worry about them. So that is very pogger. So hello. How you doing? You guys are frozen in time. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Get it. Get it. Get it. So like I said, we're able to kind of just go burr now um, and just kind of do... I don't want to say everything. And we get... A key for the Gerudo Training Ground, so we get our last key that we need for that, um, which is kind of cool. Um, we're we're going to be able to open up the last chest there. Um, let's go ahead and play the Sun Song once again. Alright, so we got the Gerudo Training Ground's key. And a bigger bomb bag, so a lot of good stuff hidden behind Zelda's lullaby. Um, but now we're able to just kind of go burr, and, and yeah, and actually I'm kind of thinking about it, um, we're gonna be able to go, we should have kind of finished up Spirit Temple, because one of the things that we needed was Zelda's Lullaby, which leads into the boss's room, which gives us a check, although, can we even get to that room? I don't think we can even get to that room, to be, to be completely honest. This chest is a blue rupee! Womp womp. We found 33 blue rupees in this series. Bruh. All right, so that takes care of that check. So our next check is going to be uh, a couple of checks up in the uh, Death Mountain Crater. I did it the wrong way. My bad. My bad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so we're going into the Bolero of Fire. Um, or use the Bolero Fire, because now we can get the Great Fairy that is over here. Um, okay. And now we're all the way up here. We got our hammer. We were never able to get into this. I mean, we were able to get into it, but we never managed to open this up until now. We've got Zelda's Lullaby. So now we are going burr. So we can get to the last chest that we need to get to in the training grounds. The rest of the keys 
are just garbage. So, you know, we're five minutes in and we're just we're just throwing the checks down. And not to mention that we can now go to Ice Cavern. This gives us a Deku Nut. Probably the worst thing that we've gotten so far today. Um, but we, we just get so many checks and so many things super, super quickly with Zelda's Lullaby. Um, so let's keep it going. All right, so next Great Fairy, we're actually going to go up this ladder. Up this ladder, thank you. And we're going to go up all the way up here. And we're going to break this because F this rock. <laughs> and then we're going to go up to the top here. And like I said, this just opens this just opens up so much. So we don't even need bombs. We can just go boom and open up the Great Fairy Fountain right here, which is really cool. And what check do we get here? Boom! This is key for the Spirit Temple. That's actually really good. That kind of gives us some more incentive to go back. Now I think we can reach that area, so we definitely need to do that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So our next Great Fairies Fountain, I'm trying to think. There's anything else we want to go to. Nah, let's go to the Temple of Time and get, and get all of that stuff situated. Um, there's two Great Fairy Fountains, uh, here, um, I'm actually gonna do the kid one first. Just because it'll be, um, it'll be easier because, um, yeah, we'll do the kid one first because this is the only one we're able to do, uh, only as a kid. Um, and then there's, you know, only as an adult too, but, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, we are kid now. So we gotta head to Hyrule Castle, which we're able to do, which is really, really good. We only have 16 sticks, womp womp. But we have the Kokiri Sword, which is really cool. I'm still really upset at myself of the fact that I had to look up the spoiler for Zelda's Lullaby, but uh, rest assured, I did not look up anything else of the game. I have no idea where anything else is uh, of the remaining things that we need, specifically the, the two keys for Ganon's Castle. I have... Uh, those, honestly, those and maybe the hover boots are really the only things left we need to beat this game, uh, to beat this seed. Um, because then we can just kind of go ham and, and beat the seed and whatnot. And, uh, in the last episode, I will go over the spoiler log with you all to just kind of look at where other things are. Um, I think I could do, uh, the last area without hover boots, but that is, that is okay here, so... That is, uh, that is okay, we're good, we're fine. So like I said, this uh, opening up Zelda's Lullaby is like, it just gives us so many checks. So many checks. And super quickly too. Well, what's nice is that I don't even need to like leave, leave here, but you know, we have Great Fairy's Fountain. We're just going burr with these ones. Boom! That is a key to Ganon's castle. That is the first small key that we need. Boom! That is that is actually pretty huge because that opens up uh, the last chest actually in Ganon's castle, which is pretty darn pretty darn epic. So let's warp back to the Prelude of Light, and then we're basically going to do the exact same thing. Um, we're going to warp to the Temple of Time. It's kind of funny, the, one of the keys was behind Zelda's Lullaby anyway, and we're going to need Zelda's Lullaby to open that last chest anyway. I'm actually going to go ahead and check that chest, since we're going to be right by Ganon's Castle anyway. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it. We're going to pull the sword... So we got one of the two keys for Ganon's castle. That's that's pretty huge. Um, honestly, honestly, I feel as soon as we find that second key, 
will be able to beat the game. And again, the, the goal of this seed, and I'm going to be honest, it's like the goal of the seed is just to beat it. It's like, I, I don't plan to 100%. I thought about it with like subscriber things way back when, when I first started it. And by the time you guys are seeing this is like episode 24 or something like that. It's like this, I'll be long into my next series uh, in terms of recording. Um, which is, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say now because it, it will not have been announced yet, but um, it, it's going to be, uh, it, it's going to be different than, than this and, and uh, what I've done in the past. So I look forward to that, but I want to finish this up. Um, I've got another series that I'm going to be recording for the channel, um, relatively soon as of recording this, although, but that'll be out by the time you see it. Um, yeah, 100%, uh, the Pokemon Coliseum with Damien, um, is what I, is what I need to start recording. It's like, so, this is, and we haven't done it as of recording this episode, if that makes any sense, um, or shows how far ahead I recorded on this series, so... Um, <laughs> that went out on August 1st, which is good. Boom! And that is Nairu's Love, which is, uh, not typically what you get here, so that's good. Alright, let's go into Ganon's Castle really quick, because now that we can get into the Light Trial, um, we're not able to get fully through the Light Trial, um, because we don't have that last key. Like I said, it's like, I'm not 100% sure if I need the Hover Boots, um, for the forest temple, or the forest, uh, thing, but we're definitely gonna do, we're definitely gonna do this over here. I'm still kicking myself at the Zelda's lullaby thing. I had to look that up, sadly, but it's all good. So we got a key for Ganon's castle. Alright, and then the light trial is over here. What? And, uh, who knows? It's like, maybe this will be the final episode. You know, you never know here. Alright, so, we're gonna open this up. This gives us Zelda's Lullaby. This gives us Zelda's Lullaby. Going too quick. Let me try that again. And this gives us the last chest in Ganon's castle, which is a red rupee, so not worth coming back in here. Okay, um, so I think my next objective now is, um, and actually while I'm here, where is it? It's over on the other side over here. Um, while I'm over here, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. And I'm going to grab some blue fire from from this area here so I can unthaw King Zora really, really easily. And boop. And we're going to we're going to dive into the ice cavern next. All right, so we're going to make this a little bit easier, and we're going to warp to the Prelude of Light, or use the Prelude of Light to warp to the Temple of Time. Um, we just need that one key for Ganon's Castle. It's like, that's it. It's like, I, I, I feel like the only thing that we may need, we may need, is the Hover Boots. Um, I will say, however, um, we do have the hammer, so we should be able to be still do some damage to Ganon. Um, <clears throat> um, but we do not have Bigoron Sword. We usually have Bigoron Sword at this point, and we do not have that, so that is very very entertaining uh, in the fact that we don't have that sword. We do have the Megaton Hammer, so we'll be able to, to, to beat it there. And then once we once we get the Master Sword, I mean, we should still be able to beat uh, Ganon relatively easily if we get to that part. Um, but yeah. I will have said, it's like, if, um, if that was the key, if that ended up being the key to Ganon's castle, uh, the last one that we needed, it's like, this would have been the penultimate episode, and I would have... Um, 
It's like I probably would have. I, I don't know, honestly. It's like maybe I would have made this the final episode. I don't know. It's like, but we're we're coming down to the wire. It's like now that I have now that I have this, and uh, and and Zelda's lullaby, we're able to get so many more checks. Um, and as soon as I, there will be literally nothing stopping us except the keys themselves. Um, from me going through the rest of the temples and whatnot as well. So, um. I have legit all the items that we need to to beat the game, like I said, with the exception of the hover boots. Um, I just need the keys. We're also able to do the frog mini game as a kid. Um, I probably should do that. Um, I might try to. I, I might start next episode with that if the ice cavern doesn't get us. But uh, the goal for this uh, uh, for the remainder of this episode is to unthaw King Zora and go through the entirety of the of the Ice Cavern, which shouldn't take us too, too long. Ice Cavern isn't all that big. Um, but this will, this will end up being a little bit more of a lengthy episode. After the last, like, one or two, I, I, I don't know, I haven't edited the videos yet, uh, but the last one or two definitely were uh, shorter and definitely lacking of the of the energy of what I usually put out. So, yeah, it's it's good stuff. Is good stuff here, so. Alright, so we open the waterfall. And let's hop in to Zora's Domain. Alright, we're hopping in! Let's go! Woo! Zora's Domain. Finally, as an adult. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Sorry for the random jump cuts, my friends. Just kind of dealing with some things right now. Alright, so we got... King Zora here, which is moved over since we had Rudo's letter very early on anyway. It's always that. It's always that. But because we have some blue fire... What the... F okay. Thank you, game mechanics. I hate ice. I hate ice so much. Uh, Alright, so... He gets... He gets unthawed. And then we can go over here, talk to him, speak. And we get... A piece of heart! Which gives us, um... Our 15th heart piece. Uh, our 15th heart container, rather. So, that is... That is pretty good. Ah! No, 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 Usually gives you the Goron tunic there. All right, so there's a couple of checks actually in here, and uh, I do apologize because we're... Um, there's another Grey Fairies Fountain. Like I said, this this episode is going to be a little bit on the longer side, um, but I think, I think you guys deserve a little bit of a longer episode since I went uh, a little... a little crazy in the last few episodes here. Um, with things and whatnot, so. So we get another Great Fairies Fountain here. So, let's get it. I actually think this ends up being the last Great Fairies Fountain. If I, if I remember correctly. So, let's find out what we get for this one. And it's a bundle of arrows, so not good. So there's still a couple of areas where we can check. First and foremost, we can check under the water. There's a freestanding piece of heart usually here. So, uh, whoops, my bad. So we got, we got our, our boots here that we're just gonna... And now we're gonna move, and now we're going all the way down. Ooh, it's an actual heart container. There's an actual heart container down here. That's actually really, really cool. We've had only... We've had three ice chests all series? Wow. Well, let's see if this is actually a heart container. It is. That gives us six heart containers in total. So, that gives us our 16th heart. So now we make our long climb back up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Let's head over this way. Okay, okay, okay. And like I said, I do apologize for the random jump cuts. I don't actually know what's over here. I cannot see. Ah! Well. All right. That's always fun. I love ice. I love ice. All right. Let's jump. And then we jump over here. What do we got over there? What do we got? It's a heart. It's a piece of heart. We might as well. We might as well grab them. I mean, why not? Oh, I forgot about those rotating. All right. Timed and jump. Don't. Don't do it. And got it. And that is indeed another piece of heart. Okay. And now the moment of truth, my friends, is the actual cavern of ice. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ice cavern in the flesh. Okie dokie. Um, so, Ice Cavern here. Um, like I said, I do apologize for the random jump cuts and whatnot. But it should be... It, we should be alright. So, once again, we do not have... We do not have... Um... Ow. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! Where'd he go? Urgh. Image T swear, I'm sorry. I said the one thing and now I have like three or four now. It's like, bruh. It's so annoying. It's so, so annoying. Okay. So now we're moving as if, uh,. I'm gonna um, keep moving. Oh, freaking ice. I hate ice. I hate ice so much. Um, I'm moving as if I don't have blue fire because I'm gonna need to get more anyway, so. And if I pick the wrong one, although, I mean, I guess technically, where's the last? Oh, I know where it is. I was like, where's the last one? Got it. Well, now I guess I need to go get that. I guess I gotta go get that because I thought I still had... Still had the hookshot there, so that's wonderful. Um, I guess we'll put the hookshot there. Or in this case, long shot. Wonderful. Alright. It's fine, though. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so... Yeah. So now we need to go this way. Although, I'll probably want... I don't know. How I didn't get hit by that, but I didn't, so... Alright, I'm definitely gonna want the bow here. Because I remember trying to deal with these ice keys in a previous seed, and they were annoying as heck. No. Oh, I gotta go up higher. Ah, so close, so close. Come on. I have so many arrows that I don't even care if I miss a bajillion times. I'm just not going to deal with them. Although, he'll probably see me beforehand. How did I miss him there? Got him. Alright. Only took a lot of arrows, but that's fine. Get rid of that. And we get more arrows. And whoop, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next bottle. 
Um, I don't need the arrows anymore, so let me go ahead and grab another bottle. Because I'm going to need it. Come on. Stop talking to me, Nobby. All right. Alright, so we get rid of you. No, what the f... Almost swore again. That is not what I pressed. Legit almost swore again. Oi. Alright, what do we get, chest? Worth it? Hey, there's the hover boots. That opens up. Pretty much the entirety of the Shadow Temple. We need one more key to finish it in, it in its entirety. But there's the hover boots, which will make the forest uh, the forest trial that much easier, my friends. So we're we're that much closer. We're that, that much closer. I had a feeling the hover boots were gonna be here. So it's gonna be it's gonna be very 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 interesting. All right, so, oh, I hate you. I hate these things, I hate these things, and then the ice doesn't make it any better. Really, the only other thing that I want in terms of items now is the, um, is the big Oron sword, is the big Oron sword. I really don't think I want anything else except that. <laughs> I think that's where I'm supposed to go next, so I'm just going to go and open this area here, because I think this is the next area. Alright, so, like I said, long episode will be long, but you got, y'all deserve it, y'all deserve it. I mean, at some point we're going to need to finish up all the, uh... All this stuff. Well, wh what else? Do you know what else? Uh, the the uh, hover boots opens up as well as the fight versus Valdalia. So, so there we go. Hey, uh, compass. <laughs> A compass. Which compass is it? I don't even know what compass is left. For the fire temple? Okay. Okay, I see you. All right. So now we have this. Nice. And this gives us 62 Gold Sculptula tokens. So we're going pretty burr on that one. Okay. Nice. And then we get the... The removal of this. And the next chest is... Another heart piece. Oh my goodness. We have... We've collected three heart pieces? Well, that means... That means I'm at 35. That means I'm at 35 heart pieces. I must have... I must have missed one. Wow. We're at 35 heart pieces because... Yeah, we got six heart containers... Which means there's, what, two more of those? Or did I count... Did I count too many heart pieces? I don't know. Because there's, what, eight dungeons? So there's, what, two more heart containers? I feel like I miscounted because I'm missing four, but I'm almost done. I feel like I miscounted. I wonder if I hit... I wonder if I hit a button too many times with that. Uh, yeah, we want over here now. Yeah, so let's drop this down because 32... 1, 2, 3, 4... 32... I, I'm kind of wondering if I should be at 31 heart pieces. I'll double check in, in, I mean, in editing, you guys will see it, and you guys will probably have yelled at me this entire time. Um, problem is, is that this series was, was pre-recorded. Come on, unthaw. 
Oh, for mother friggin' sake. Come on. No, Navi. Navi! If Navi would just lock on to these things, they'd have been dead a bajillion times ago. Like, holy crap, what is she even locking on over there? Like, bruh. So, there's 63 gold skulltulas. Alright, I have all I need of fire. I actually won't need literally any more. And actually, this is kind of funny because I have hover boots. That sound, though! Oh my gosh! I hope I don't have to hear that all the time. My goodness. Alright, we're gonna take those off. <laughs> We're going to yeet that all the way over there, and we're going to reset it. <laughs> we're just going to reset it. Okay, bye! Alright, so we go over there. Ah, uh, the targeting system in this game just absolutely drives me bonkers. It just, it really does. Why? Come on! This game is not cooperating with me in this recording session, which has been... Pretty long, I have to say. I've been probably recording not this particular segment, uh, but in general for like two, three hours here, and getting frustrated and still a little upset of the fact that I had to look up Zelda's lullaby where it was um, because I got lost and didn't know where else to go. I don't even know what she is looking at over there. It's like I don't even know how to get access to those rupees. It doesn't even matter. I have the full amount anyway. So. Anyway, it's like, but yeah, it's like, I'm just upset of the fact of the matter is, is like, I, I really wanted to try to finish this without looking at the spoiler log, but it is what it is. We managed to find it, um, but this will get us, this will get us, uh, the, the rest of the stuff. This will get us the rest of the stuff because now we have, now we legit have everything except the keys to finish every single dungeon. Like, legit, the only thing we don't have is ice arrows, and those are optional. It's like, those are optional anyway. So... Ow. So, yeah. Alright, so this is gonna be the final check in here. I just want to make sure I get everything here so that I can actually get through this. I did get it all, okay. Um, there's actually going to be two checks in here. The song check, as well as... Um, as well as the iron boots chest. These poor wolfos have a massive weakness of just getting hit in the back and dying. Also, this is one of the prettiest rooms in the game, just saying. <laughs> So this takes out this chest, and the Iron Boots chest becomes a Red Rupee, which is unfortunate. And for the song, we get a Recovery Heart. So Hover Boots make uh, this area worth it. Um, trying to figure out on where I want to go next. It's like, I'm thinking we take on the Fire Temple next. We 100% take on the Fire Temple. Um, I don't have another key at the moment. Um, but we are able to get pretty far in the Shadow Temple, but I think we take on Volvolgia. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, have enjoyed this. We're gonna, we're gonna exit by looking at this amazing room. Um, but there's literally nothing else left in the Ice Cavern. Long episode is long. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I am gonna, uh, go ahead and take a break from recording, uh, for a little bit. And then I'm going to get back into it. Um, so uh, we're reaching the end. We just got to find that one key. That is legit the only thing that's stopping us. As soon as we find that key, it's go time, Ganon. It's go time. 
Um, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Remember to check out all the other amazing content creators in the description below, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.